November New Week. Hello, my dear artist, and welcome to the number 22 about November New Week. Today, we are talking about files, proxy, and the waste of the files on your uh, disk and hard drive. So, um, in the production, you, you maybe met some extension as uh, PSD, RXR, or even DPX. There is common file extension uh, on the production. The most common and usable is, of course, the EXR. PSD is from the Mad Painter, but theoretically, uh, they provide us not PSD file, but more TIFF, or even in some case, PNG. Uh, TIFF and PNG uh, have 8 and 16 bytes for the goal of depth. So that's why that's really usable. Some PSD files contain uh, a bit depth of uh, 32, so sometimes we provide EXR for that. For the EXR files, um, that's the usual file extension for post production. Uh, and that the special and specific files for Nuke. Nuke is really made for uh, exploit a uh, maximum of the UXR powers. The last one, the DPX, um, it is an ancestor uh, for the cinema, for the, the very big quality images. We, we, we use a lot the DPX files. It, it disappears now, uh, but it stay on uh, 8, 10, and 60 bytes for the color depth. But now everything uh, will be for you uh, just a name extension. But when you are a freelance artist, it's pretty important to, uh, to know what is the space be, uh, be take by this uh, file extension. And that's why we'll take a look today about compression and file extension. So, uh, we have uh, uh, an MXF file. So, MXF file is from the, an Alexa, and um, it is a, a file that contains a raw image. Unfortunately, Nuke is not really able to use uh, completely the power of this kind of file. He has some problems and issues when you try to open MXF, uh, Red 3D, or even QuickTime. And it's, it is a recommendation, but it's, pre it's preferable to convert this kind of file in a correct extension. For the MXF files and Red 3D, uh, you can use an OXR. The OXR will be uh, in a 16 byte, uh, because there is no, uh, uh, no worries about that. And that gives you a, a nice file. Uh, for example, in our case, we have, a, uh, we have a picture, a frame, uh, will be like 7 megabyte on your hard drive. That's, that's not so heavy, but uh, if you have a, a very small hard drive, um, that will be difficult to work live with this kind of intention. So some people are, um, um, so use a, a kind of proxy. What is a proxy? Proxy it is a file or a way to, uh, to interpret the file. Uh, in our case, uh, Nuke have a, a proxy mode called scale. So if you click on the proxy mode, it is a alt P, it will divide by two the size of your uh, picture just to be lighter. That's fake. That's not really lighter. And the second problem, uh, some nodes have issues with the half size of your project. So the other alternative of the proxy mode is to preserve the scale, but change the files. So on the XR, some people use the line proxy. And in the proxy, we try to use a, a lighter file. For example, a JPEG. The JPEG is very lighter. So if I take a look now, I took time to link my UXR. But if I click on the proxy mode, I will just try to read not an half size element, but directly the JPEG. And that's true, 
JPEG is really lighter. If I compare the XR to the JPEG, the JPEG is just 99 kilobytes. 92. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, when we try in this kind of uh, project, we totally lose the right information from the 32 byte OXR or 16 byte OXR, the famous float. The JPEG is already clumped on the black level and the white level. So what is the solution? There is one solution, and very nice one. There is a kind of compression for OXR called DWAB. The DWAB gives you the possibility of a compression level, but is really lighter than the original OXR. I will compare. I will just create a, a proxy on OXR. And the, the weight of this uh, file is very lighter, maybe 10 times lighter than the original one. And the second trick, if I now replace my proxy line by the OXR, we'll provide so something like this. I just do this. So this is my original file. That's pretty heavy, <laughs> as you see. And now I will go on my proxy. So the system will now read not the original UXR file, but the proxy file. And as you see, that becomes easier to go through. But the second trick, and very nice one, if I play with my exposure on my gamma, the information is still there. So I will show you the difference. This is JPEG. There is no information in the white. This is my OXR proxy. And as you see, that it's lighter, faster, but you keep white and black information even in the negative value and higher one value. So that's all, folks. This is a very small episode about OXR and a small extension. Um, don't forget, this is for the November, so if you, going to, if you want to give a donation, that would be really appreciated. And I see you for the next episode. Bye.